A 26-year-old Mesquite man who at 25 posed as a high school student and illegally dated a teenage girl just 16 will not spend any more time in jail. In 2017, Sidney Gilstrap Portley pretended he was a Hurricane Harvey evacuee to relive his high school basketball days at two Dallas ISD schools. For that and for what he did to a 14-year-old girl, he got just probation. He'll also have to register as a sex offender. Fox 4's Allison Harris spoke to the man's attorney today. She is live in downtown Dallas. Allison. Steve, his attorney actually told me today that he really thought he was going to go to college and play basketball after this second fake high school stint. Uh, instead, he's not going to be serving any more jail time he could have faced. He could have spent years in prison. The now 26 year old man who posed as a 17 year old to play high school basketball in Dallas and date a 14 year old girl is getting six years probation. He tried to take advantage of an opportunity. Um, it did not go well. Sidney Gilstrap Portley's attorney says his client is very remorseful about lying. First enrolling at Skyline High School in 2017, claiming he was a homeless Hurricane Harvey evacuee, then later enrolling at Hillcrest High School and playing for the basketball team. During that time at age 25, posing as Rashawn Richardson, he got into an illegal relationship with a 14-year-old girl. Last year, the girl's mother shared with Fox 4 text messages that she says Gilstrap Portley sent her after she questioned his age, stating, I would like to meet you as well so that you can feel at least a little comfortable with her being around me. That's why I had her home before 845, so you won't think nothing extra going on. Gilstrap Portley had actually graduated from North Mesquite High School in 2011. It was a former North Mesquite coach who recognized him. He knows it was, it wasn't a good decision. He knows that if he had another chance that he would do it all over again and he would not put himself in a situation. Gilstrap Portley was facing up to 20 years in prison and a $10,000 fine for three counts of tampering with a government record and indecency with the child, but through a plea deal, walked away with only probation. He will have to register as a sex offender. In the two years since he somehow passed as a student, Dallas ISD says it has strengthened its enrollment process, stating we now request more documents documentation from students previous schools and intensify our follow up efforts to ensure that this type of situation does not happen again. There is a law that requires school districts to go ahead and accept and enroll homeless students, even if they don't have the proper documents. That's what Dallas ISD has had to be stricter on because of all of this.